The wrong question to ask when you're stuck here is what do I feel like doing? Hello? The right question is what is God telling me to do? But that's the question. In fact, the mark of maturity as a believer is you're living by truth, not by feelings. Because feelings can deceive you. You can get a feeling from a bad pizza. I mean, feelings are not a reliable source of information in your life. And so here's what I often remind myself of, and maybe it'll be helpful to you, is that there are three approaches to moving forward, or two approaches to moving forward in life. Approach number one that perhaps is the most common is you feel, check how you feel, how do I feel, what do I feel like doing, what do I feel like is going to happen, and then I act on those feelings, and then later on I think about what happened or didn't happen or what I wish happened or, or why, how did I get here, because you started with feelings. The other way is to take those same three elements and reverse the order of them and think about the truth, think about the right thing, think about what God is saying, think about what God is calling you to do, think about the power of God, then act on truth and then let the feelings come. You see the difference between those two things? You see, feelings are not wrong. Feelings in themselves are fine. Feeling is a part of the, the human experience. I'm just saying let the feelings be the caboose of your train instead of the engine of your train. You let the feelings come because you thought truth, you acted on truth, and the result is you saw the truth. So let me break it down real simple for you. No one said, that I mentioned that no one said life is free from pain, but you have influence on what kind of pain and the result you get. Life without Jesus Christ, you're on your own. You become a victim of your feelings and of your circumstances, and the pain of that is you spend your whole life paying the prices that we've already talked about, picking up the pieces of opportunities and relationships, picking up the pieces of your life. Right life with Christ think, act, feel. You're never alone. You're guided by the truth that stands the test of time. It doesn't change and waver with every cultural change that happens around us. Yes, the truth can hurt. Anybody say amen? Sometimes having to look in the mirror and be honest with ourselves, the truth can hurt. That can be painful, but it promises and delivers life. When you operate in the truth, you find life in all its fullness.